guys this is Shitanshu from Dream Abroad a few days ago i posted this on my facebook uh, dream abroad canada discussion group that if there's anybody who's struggled with ielts and uh, got their desired results after four or five different attempts because i was in delhi i can take the interview so that their experiences and learning can help you guys so i've got two ladies here with me uh, deeksha and sonam who will be sharing their experiences so i'll let them do the talking now so uh, thank you first of all for coming over here and you know taking this initiative of helping other people uh, first of all uh, would you like to tell me about your journey and our audience as well yeah sure sitanshu thank you so much uh, and it is really nice to uh, talking with you and uh, i started my journey in june uh, this year and uh, within a five month time frame i gave almost six exams and uh, i got my desired score in the sixth attempt uh though my real pain point was uh, writing because throughout my journey i got 6.5 in all my attempts even in my last attempt i got my 6.5 but i went for revel and i got my score and in, at yeah at one point i got my 7 also so yeah that was all about my journey okay what about you so like i have been writing uh, ielts since january uh, january last year and so it took me 10 months to write five attempts and uh, it was like uh, like i was always stuck in listening and writing speaking and reading were never an, uh, was never an issue and with writing uh, because having a poor handwriting uh, uh, like i could not uh, like uh, make out if it was because of my poor handwriting or uh, i am missing some format or anything else so my last attempt in which i uh, cleared the ielts uh, i scored 7.5 and i wrote everything in capital capital letters so in order to like so that my handwriting becomes legible for the examiner to understand so like uh, it it like i did more of handwriting practice than ielts practice to just to clear the exam okay so which was the main uh, you know troublesome section for you was it uh, like uh, you know writing or reading or listening what whichever for me it was writing because uh, though reading is kind of uh, my strength i can say and same with the speaking also i am very much comfortable but for uh, writing uh, initially i had uh, challenges with my subject verb agreement and the articles one so these two areas which i uh, learnt a lot during this journey because uh, somehow uh, though i am working in it from last 10 years but somehow i really don't mind to have those uh, errors in my writing so for uh, writing standpoint yes i learned a lot and i practiced a lot i wrote almost 150 essays uh, within this 5 month time frame okay 150 essays 150 so uh, probably this is the amount of practice if uh, you need to do uh, if you are not getting your desired results okay what about you so like uh, my uh, problems were listening and writing initially i could never ever score even uh, like uh, beyond 8 even in the practice test but th- like uh, with time i realized that paraf- uh, they paraphrase everything a lot and uh, that's the reason i was losing on out on mcqs so instead of just listening the recording we have to understand and memorize uh, at every at every step i struggled with listening a lot so the uh, problem was that i was i used to just listen to the recording instead of understanding and memorizing it so i even practice self pip because of ielts fever so after practicing self pip self pip is a actually memory based exam more of a you know like uh, like its listening is more of memory based okay so have you prepared for self pip as well i haven't prepared for self pip i was just uh, like going through the sample test while uh, going through the sample test of self pip i realized that uh, like in in self pip sampler what happens is first we listen to the recording then after the recording uh, then uh, after the recording the exam uh, the questions comes up so you have to memorize everything like you have to observe each and everything with you know like minute detail so uh, in order to answer the questions so that trick helped me in ielts as well i am like i used to listen with full focus also whenever they give time to you know like um, you have now 30 seconds to uh, check your answers in those 30 seconds we should utilize it for the next section rather than checking the answers for the previous section so that helped me in listening a lot and f- like um, i finally scored from clb 8 to i scored clb 10 like i had a clb 10 jump in 3 months so uh, guys she finally got uh, clb 10 i guess you are not in focus so if you can come a bit towards here yeah so uh, the other question is uh, have you guys tried the idp and british council both of them 
Yeah, I have tried both of them and I personally feel that there is no difference. Though I have seen people still asking on many blogs that is there any difference, but IDB is better or BC. But for me, the experience from both the uh, like bodies are same. So there is no difference for me. Okay. What about you? My four attempts were from British Consul and one attempt was from IDB. And I'm still waiting for the results, so I cannot really comment on IDB. But what I realize is that uh, like the exam is exactly same. Like if you are uh, giving exam from uh, on the same date from both the uh, any of the bodies, the exam questions are exactly the same. It's just that they might be some you know uh, like um, because writing and uh, speaking are subjective. So I, I what I heard that British Council is a little strict in speaking. But it, it also like it depends on person to person. There is no like. So guys, there isn't much of a difference between uh, you know IDP and British Council. This uh, you know uh, much. Uh, this is actually one of the biggest uh, questions that people ask. That you know what is the difference between uh, IDP and British Council? I also made a video on it. If you want, I'll provide the link in the description box. Uh, okay. So the other question. Uh, you guys have suffered with that 6.5 uh, trauma. Uh, yeah. Because as I told you, I am very much consistent in 6.5 in writing. Like throughout in all of my six at, six attempts, I got seven in two of the attempts, but rest four were 6.5. So I can definitely say that I was so consistent in writing to score 6.5. But uh, to be honest, I worked a lot. As I told you, I wrote almost 150 essay in these five months. So I really didn't get that why I am not able to make that 0.5. And uh, in even in the final attempt, I went for reval because I knew that I wrote a very beautiful essay that day and I got my desired score uh, but yeah this is something uh, I personally feel that there is some glitch and uh, to jump and to cross that point 0.5 is a long journey. So uh, many people actually ask this question should we go for re-evaluation so uh, how did you come to that decision that you'll be going for re-evaluation? Uh, because just uh, before this exam my sixth attempt in my fifth attempt I got seven and I wrote a much better essay than that and I knew that this time I really don't know why they gave me 6.5 because I wrote a good essay and last time as I told you that I got 7 so then I uh, asked I thought that it's a time to go for a reval okay. yeah so did you also go for revaluation no like it was my like I got my result in just one go like one go as in like uh, I didn't go for revaluation yeah. So uh, with writing, I would like to say that uh, like the revising your essay and letter is extremely important because while revising, I got to know a lot of my punctuation and spelling mistakes. And uh, we can, you know, like uh, sometimes while thinking and writing, we also uh, uh, fell below grammar as well. So like if we uh, keep aside uh, like at least couple of minutes or maybe five minutes just to revise the essay, that is extremely important. So. Yeah, time like, management is something, yeah, time management yeah. I agree is something which uh, we all need to focus upon because if we have a that 5 minutes that actually give us confidence because after coming back from the exam because we do not have any paper and pen and we do not have anything where we can write or write that format. So during revision that snapshot is there in our mind and after coming back from the exam we can consult our teachers or anybody uh, who, whosoever we want to. So yeah. Okay, so the other question what kept you guys going because you know giving five or six different attempts it is actually you know, requires a lot of time a lot of practice and a lot of money as well yeah. obviously if you have gone for six attempts you probably spend like uh, 70,000 rupees or maybe more than that uh, for uh, just for IELTS so what kept you going yeah honestly speaking in during my lifetime like uh, during my uh, childhood days or my school days or college days I always been a very good student so I really don't want to left this exam without passing it so that's something which I just want to go ahead. I maybe if maybe if it will take say seven or eight times or more even more than that. So my uh, agenda is to crack this exam for sure. <laughs> okay, what about you? So like in my initial attempts, I was not that serious about Canada. I was just like writing IELTS exams is very little practice. But like uh, in my November attempt, I was I became hell lot of serious about Canada and like which motivated me to you know like. Uh, study day and night for exam and especially like with the writing thing it was like uh, it was hurting my ego that like yeah. so many people I know having a little uh, what I used to believe that they are not having very good uh, like English and they like score seven in just one go and I was struggling with it a lot so like I thought of practi practicing on my handwriting this time like I could also opt for a computer based exam but what I heard as listening was my you know like uh, disadvantage yeah. there 
सो आई थॉट ऑफ राइटिंग पेपर बेस फॉर वन लास्ट टाइम एंड वर्किंग ऑन माई लाइक हैंड राइटिंग स्किल्स ओके सो वॉट हैव यू गाइज अपलाइड फॉर डिफरेंट एग्जामिनेशन सेंटर्स लाइक इन डिफरेंट सिटीज Yeah, I applied from Metro City. Like I belong to Good Gaon, and uh, I gave my exam twice from Good Gaon, and rest of the time I gave my exam from Bhatinda Punjab. So uh, sorry to interrupt you. Do you guys actually believe that you no, know, this is a factor in deciding uh, your desired bands? That if you actually go somewhere, you know, in the uh, two or three tier city uh, towards maybe Punjab or maybe towards you know UP or Bihar somewhere where English is not so popular among people. So. Uh, towards i mean do you feel that will that actually make a difference or you know for our viewers and has that made a difference for you as well yeah for me i can say that there is a difference in speaking specially uh, because i as i told you i give, gave my exam from gurgaon twice and and both the attempts i secured 7 and uh, from punjab i always uh, got 8 so yeah that's a difference and probably that's a difference because uh, human intervention in the speaking exam and where wherever we have a human intervention there is a uh, kind of a pre assumptions so while we start our examination so they also have some pre assumption for that person that uh, particular participant who are there to participate or to give their interviews right so yeah there is a difference i can say and that's the reason people most of the people are nowadays actually moving uh, towards non metro city for their exams okay what about you so i definitely feel that uh, you get an advantage in speaking because like uh, it depends on the crowd you are like uh, giving the exam from the it depends on the crowd of the city if the city has already lot of english speaking people so then it becomes a little dis- disadvantage in my case i uh, like gave twice from chennai and thrice from delhi so i was working in chennai so i in chennai i used to score better than uh, what i scored in delhi because uh, in chennai like people are having very good english but their pronunciation is not uh, uh, like uh, it it's not in line with what they expect uh, especially like uh, it's it's way different than american or canadian english so yeah like uh, i used to score better in chennai than delhi like it it ha- helped me a lot Okay so the last question uh what would be your advice for the people who are actually you know uh going for the first attempt maybe or maybe uh, they are stuck at 6.5 and they're kind of giving up they're losing the hopes that you know we won't make it up so what what will be your advice you guys are the right kind of inspiration for all of those guys who are actually you know who didn't score it in two attempts or three attempts you guys are the right inspiration so what will be your advice for all those people uh well i can say then don't lose hope and uh, give your 100% first of all this is not a luck exam uh, you can they, yeah probably there is a destiny for sure but at the same time hard work is really required for this exam because you cannot go and just check your destiny or check your luck all the time because there are four sections this is not only one or two sections right so luck can be work can be work out for you say for one or two exam but not all the four so hard work is indeed required and don't lose hope and just give your 100% so but like i would like to say that uh, like lot of hard work is required and as she was saying that luck do matters but not up to only up to a certain extent and uh, like uh, you should not be over confident while writing the exam in my like uh, previous three attempts i was very over confident that i already know english that how can i fail in ielts exam and all <laughs> but like uh, because of my like uh, you know like consistent failures i have actually studied for my last attempt seriously for uh, like around 2 uh, months and then i was able to achieve the score so it's not a like rocket scientist like you can uh, uh, you can uh, like you can clear the exam it's just that it needs a lot of practice and much more than what you expect so <laughs> all right so i guess uh, this will be it uh, i hope that the experiences that they have shared uh, would be helpful for all of you guys who are losing their hope yes this uh, scoring 6.5 in any one of the section is a problem but there's nothing much there's actually not much that we can do about it so whatever it is we have to uh, go along with it and uh, take them as an inspiration uh, they have appeared for ielts for five or six times in a span of one year and uh, three or four months and they haven't uh, given their hopes and uh, deeksha actually she also got an her ita so congratulations for that yeah thank you thank you so much thank so you so probably she should be immigrating to canada very soon in this year hopefully by the uh, mid of this year so i just hope that uh, this video uh, would be helpful for you guys uh, thank you guys for uh, coming over and taking this pain of you know coming over and giving this interview so thank you guys yeah thank you thank you so thank much you thank you all the best yeah all the best
thank you to and all the best to all of you guys if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please subscribe it right now and if you like the video please click the like button thank you